like trying to get my attention, right? And he's sitting there looking like, hey, hey. And I'm just like, boy, what the f do you want? Like, what the f do you want? You? So he rolled down the window and he was like, hey, how old you is? I said, 60. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to pop her dentures out, bro. Um, I'm be real with you, baby girl. Some of us wouldn't flinch because you popped them dentures out. That just means it's all gums, no teeth. He put me in. He put me into nursing school. He got my hair, nails, everything done. So he up here on this level. I'm down here on this level. You get where I'm going? He got me up here with him because he was making good money. But then he ended up losing his job two years ago. Lost his job, and now he broke. Her true colors about to come out. Broke up with him and got him. I'm not doing that. You know, shit, don't. Took me in. Hold on, before I get to this, look what my son made for me. What what kind of sandwich is this, big guy? Um, a turkey sandwich with cheese. You wash the plate and everything? Mm-hmm. You're supposed to dry the plate before you put the sandwich on the plate, big guy. Oh. I appreciate you. Thank thank you. Eat this. No, what the hell? You eat it. No, it's cheese. <laughs> eat it, it's cheese. Thank, thank you, thank you. Let let Daddy finish work and I'll come upstairs, okay? Okay. Alright, bye. Bye. This man made me a turkey and cheese sandwich. I appreciate that. I appreciate my son. Sandwich dry as hell, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. I'm going to put it back over here. All right. So, let's get back to this video. This man took care of her. He um, he put her through, what, nursing school? And as soon as he went broke, she left him. This sounds like a real-life story that I've heard from a supervisor at my old job. This happens all too often that you would take care of somebody and... When you fall on hard times, they leave you. Hey, what's the most delusional thing you've ever done? I've sucked somebody dick thinking that they would be my boyfriend. <laughs> did it work? It did not work. Hey, what's the most delusional thing you've done? I went to his college thinking he would be my boyfriend. In my head, we were together with their kids, and he's saying that we wasn't together. But hey, what's the most delusional thing you've done? I reported his whole ass post because a girl commented on it. Hey, what's the most delusional thing you've done? I got mad at a guy for dancing with a girl, but we're not even talking. Hey, what's the most delusional thing you've done? So the reason that her ex left her on red is because he's so in love with her that the reason that he did not Snapchat her is because he knows if he Snapchats her again, he's going to be so in love with her. Hey, what's the most delusional thing you've done? That's back from nice. back after he went on a date with another girl like three days before. Hey, what's the most delusional thing you've done? I still think my ex wants me even though he just wants to f*** me. Hey, the way that whole clip started off, this heifer said, I gave somebody the wop thinking that they would be my boyfriend. I was not expecting that. I almost choked on my goddamn drink. But we got to stop leading these ladies on, fellas. We got to stop leading these ladies on, fellas. Okay? Now, how you going to have her come over there and give you that throat and not commit? I'm being sarcastic. It depends on the situation. How long were they talking? You see, we need some context. Because if me and you just started talking and you come over there and start Topping me off, I don't think I'll take you serious. Especially if you were, you were a professional with it. If we just start talking and you come to my house and you give me elite level head, that means you had a lot of practice. So that means, yeah, we. If you can buy 30K for a car, you can pay 30K for me. Damn. That's the least amount of my money. The least? No, obviously, it could be what? A payment plan? I'm done with the payment plan. Can you do like a down payment? Like, obviously, yeah. If you can buy 30K for a car, you can pay 30K for me. Damn. That's the least amount of my money. The least? The least? No, obviously, it could be what? A payment plan? I'm done with the payment plan. Can 
you do like a down payment? Like, Obviously, yeah. I know in certain cultures, I ain't gonna say in her culture, but I know in certain cultures, okay, I can bring the father a goat, a sheep, a cow, and I can have his daughter. I feel as though in those cultures, those animals are a form of money, okay? It's payment. So, as crazy as it sounds, if she's talking in terms of that, then... You know, y'all gonna be like, boy, you sipping. But no, I'm telling the truth. Based on how she's dressed, I'm not profiling. Am I profiling? Well, shit, maybe I am. But based on how she's dressed, I know in certain cultures that dress the way she dressed, you give the father some type of gifts, right? And he will give you his daughter's hand in marriage. So, what is the difference with giving 30K? God, that boy don't know what to do. So, I didn't officially go to college. I went to the R Institute. But we used to go to uh, the Georgia State and Clark Atlanta campuses all the time. If you've never been to college or you've never been on a college campus, why the um, they would stay stroll when those ladies start to get into oh, Lord hammers. My wife was supposed to be a damn a Delta. My wife was supposed to be a Delta, man. I really wanted her to be to, to, to pledge and whatnot, but I, I don't think she got accepted. Yeah, I wish I went to the original universities I, I was supposed to go to because I know I would have been a Kappa. I was supposed to go to the University of Maryland. I definitely would have been a Kappa. That's one, of the, that's one of my biggest regrets. That's one of my biggest regrets, bro. Is not going to a regular university. I got into. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. I'm smart. I know some of y'all like. Nigga, please. No, I'm smart, bro. I got into um, Georgia State, University of Maryland, University of Maryland Eastern Shore, New England University, and. Um, Temple. I got into Temple also. So there was five schools I got into. And because of, I don't know, I guess my father didn't trust me. I was too hood. He said, man, I'm not sending you away to school. You're going to find you a school in New York. And then when he changed his mind, oh, well, he said, I'm a, you're going to find you a school in New York. I didn't want to stay in Brooklyn, bro. But anyway, um, then he was like, all right, if you're going to go to these schools, what you going to study? Business. I was like, I'm going to study business. And he said, no, you should. You should just go to art school because, you you know, you're real artistic or whatever. And that's how I ended up at the Art Institute of Atlanta. That is how I ended up at the Art Institute of Atlanta, bro. Studying graphic design. My son is a handful, but my son wouldn't be doing that like that. He know better. Because he know. I'll flip his little ass upside down. Parents. Parents. This is what happens when you let you giving your kids too much access to your conversations. This is what happens when you're giving your kid too much access to your conversation. They start thinking they grown. And he start using things that you say at the wrong time. Well, he used it at the right time. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, 
she looks scary. Oh my God, she looks scary as hell. She looks scary as hell. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I do not like makeup. I do not like makeup, bro. I feel as though women are beautiful. Okay, ladies, you are beautiful and you do not need that arts and crafts on your face. I'm going to tell the truth, though, because my channel is all about me being realistic with y'all. I love my mother, but my mother be wearing too much makeup. How shorty looked right there was one time when I went back to my country. And um, I went to surprise my mother at her job. And she came out there and, and, and she wasn't, she didn't have all of that. But she had like some purple eyeliners and... I, 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 listen, I had to tell my mother about herself. I said, why you got that on your face? She said, don't it look nice? I said, no. No, no, it don't. You don't need that. You don't need that at all. I felt as though it hurt her feelings, but at the same time, bro, I would not have anybody laughing at my mother. Because I did notice when I walked over there, the people that she was helping, some of those people were kind of looking at her funny. You know, in those countries, and countries like, like my country where I'm from, sometimes the people don't know any better. Sometimes they don't know any better. They might think just putting some makeup on, oh, I'm, I'm good, I got makeup on, you know. Some, and some people don't understand foundation and all of that. I'm being honest with you. Some, not all, some. The fact that nobody told her about, the, about herself... It's crazy. Now, whoever recorded that whole situation, they knew better. They knew better. Well, you're right. Oh, wow. She, I knew that was coming. I'm just going to wipe off my kiss. But you're right. Oh, wow. If you kiss your, your girl and she wipe off your kiss... That's a sign. That's a sign, right? Am I tripping? That's a sign. You got to think about it now. If y'all in a relationship, it's a whole bunch of nasty shit y'all don't. Y'all should be doing behind. Y'all should be doing behind closed doors. Let me say it like that. It's a whole bunch of nasty stuff y'all should be doing behind closed doors. I know the type of nasty stuff me and my wife be doing behind closed doors. I'll be damned. I will be damned if she kiss me, I wipe it off. If her, I kiss her and she wipe it off. Now, wait a minute now. I, I will say this. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and like this. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I do not like drinking after my wife. And my son, too. I do not like drinking after my wife and my son. Now, in my defense, bro, my wife... Is the backwash queen. She's the backwash queen, bro. I'm talking about. It was one time we went to um, Chipotle, and Chipotle got this uh, the grapefruit Izzy, right? I gave her some of my grapefruit Izzy, and I get it back, and I see particles floating at the bottom of my drink, and I'm like, Yo, what, 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 what's this? What's this? You know what she gonna say? Oh, you serious? You being here eating my ass and you can't drink after me? It's a difference. Okay? It's a difference. I don't care. Y'all can judge me all y'all want. It's a difference. It's Is it not on there? Right here. I I don't know. I'm sorry. If I'm going to be honest with you, it's normally not pushed down like that. I was out with some friends today, and I think they were f***ing with my bike. No, it's okay. I'm just telling you because I was like, is this a sweet bike? This is a KTM? I yeah, it is. It's Yeah, uh, it's a 2019, but when I got it, it only had 500 miles on it. It's not an enduro, is it? Nope, it's the SMCR. You mind if I just take my helmet off? Okay. I didn't even put this out on the radio. It's not a big deal. Okay. Honestly, I know why. I got on it on the side road a little bit. I, it's, I wasn't worried about that. I was going to stop and ask what bike it was, and so I didn't see a tag, and I was like, oh, deal. I have a KX250F. Yeah? And a YZ125. Well, 
if you ever want, like, oh! always down. Where's he? Is he black? Uh, yeah, this is my first bike. So. Wait, time out. Is it not a? Hold on, y'all. Y'all didn't catch the the the, the riz, okay? He switched that traffic stop into a an opportunity to take Mrs. Officer out on a date. And I ain't gonna lie, it seems as though she was she was flirting a little bit. She she was giving off too much information. She have a K two whatever and. My boy said, well, you know, I just started riding. I don't know if you'd be down to start riding with me in this, that, and the third. But from the way he was sounding, I, I thought he sounded African-American. I mean, I, he sounded Caucasian. But I don't know if it's the, the camera or the lighting. Them hands look black. Them hands look black. Every time I start talking to a man, it's always, I know you got options. I know you got options, sweetheart. I'm a full-blooded weirdo. I'm an awkward, introverted loner with social anxiety. I'm barely talking to you. That is a very attractive young lady. But, fellas, let me tell you something. If you're talking to a woman, don't ever, ever bring up the fact that you know or you think she has options. Because... That shows a lack in confidence, and that's very unattractive. And before you know it, you're going to push her away. She may not even have options. But you acting how you acting, and you saying, I know you got options, and I know you da 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 One, that shows insecurity, right? Two, that level of insecurity will drive you to not be 100% on your game. You're going to do something stupid. And now she's going to be looking for options. Finally. Hey. In 10 minutes. You've been yeah. here late. No, I'm here now. Okay. Got some business. Got any needs? Come on. Oh, I told we get to know each other first. No, no, don't do this. Please, please. Not me, not me, not me. What do you mean? Boy said, not I me, mean, not me, not me. I'm not special. You are. My boy said they were able to get it with a click of a finger. I'm the same as them. I like you. What do you mean you like me? There's nothing special about me. Are you not comprehending? I'm a piece of shit like them. I, don't I brought so. you to the same location. There's not a special about me. Please don't do this. Please. I just think we should get to know each other. Oh my god. It's always me. It's always me. Oh my god. What's so special about me? Please. No, I want to get to know you. Bro, that's the worst. I like you. That's the worst. That is. Yo, in case you don't understand what's going on, right? I'm going to give you a scenario. Imagine you have this chick. This Now. Don't cancel me. Imagine you have this young lady, right? And this young lady is, you know, she's loose. She's loose with the box. Three or four of your friends then told you, like, yo, boy, you know, she came to the crib. She then gave me the, you know, we did what we had to do, right? So you proceeded to start talking to her so you can get in on the action too. And as soon as it's time for y'all to get in on the action, she said, yo, I really like you and I want things to go differently. I don't I don't want us to rush things. 